You switched off the TV and inhaled deeply before resting your head back. The news of this marriage is a trending topic all over the social media. Fans are happy, congratulating him and thinking he married to the love of his life. But how sad it is to say that the reality is completely opposite. He doesn't even say a word and it's been a week since you guys are married. You really can't decide whether you took a right step agreeing to this marriage which has ruined your as well as life. The door unlocked and you sat properly because only he comes back at this time. He has taken leave from work for some time but he never stays home and you know the reason very well but can't say anything to him. He walked in the living room but when he saw you he decided to go in his bedroom. You really feel so bad and hurt with this behavior. He doesn't even talk as a normal person and doesn't even care to know whether you are okay or not. Jungkook's POV. I closed the door behind me and laid down on my bed. The whole day I was in my studio. I don't feel like going anywhere nor do I want to meet any people. I never wanted this marriage at least not this early and on top of that it was so quick that I didn't get a chance to think whether I was ready to marry her. Just because of this family relationship and their desire to get us married together, they have ruined both of our lives. I don't love her and I'm sure neither does she. Then what's the point of staying together? I unlocked my phone and went to social media only to see how many fans are creating hype for this marriage. This is really a very positive response that I wasn't sure they will accept my life partner without any heat. Unfortunately, I'm the one who feels nothing. It's not good. It's not good for both of us. We can't stay in this loveless relationship and I never plan to live my life with someone I know nothing about. Your POV. I don't know why my heart was aching reading the wishes of my readers. They are congratulating me that I finally found my fictional man. The same I always describe in my book. The same was perfect in every way. Now I'm realizing that I was delusional. Those men can never exist in reality and it hurts me. It hurts so much to know that I was just creating a comfort place for myself that never exists. I always like him. He was the man I created in my mind but I never thought that it was just me who wanted him in a certain way. He never even gave any importance to my existence and now we are married but nothing changed. Accept my awareness towards reality and it made me realize that he is not what I thought. I don't know what I'm going to do. He's not at fault and I shouldn't take away his happiness from him. I always loved him and I never wanted to become the cause of his sadness. Jungkook was not getting any sleep because he hasn't eaten anything from morning so he went to the kitchen but his steps slowed down when he noticed you sleeping on the couch curling up into a ball. It was so cold and neither you have a blanket nor you turn on the heater. He wanted to shrug it off but couldn't. He went inside his room and came back with a blanket. He pulled the blanket over you but then his eyes fell on your tears that were coming out of your eyes. Your phone was beside you and the screen was on where you were reading the comments and wishes of your fans. He looked at you. Before the marriage, he told you that he won't take this marriage seriously and if he feels like he's not in love with you, the relationship started to feel suffocating. You guys should get separated. You guys are not even talking to each other so that you can find out what actually you wanted to do. This marriage is bringing more pain and heartbreak for no reason. He got up and turned on the heater before leaving in his room. Wow, can't believe we have the most famous married couple of recent times in our show. It's a pleasure to have you guys here. Can you hear your fans? And they are really excited. 
Everything was fake, your smiles, the excitement which wasn't really visible and the closeness that you were sitting. Everyone sees you both are happily married couple but only you would know what it actually is. Thank you so much. You guys gave a surprise to all your fans worldwide announcing this marriage. Can we know why it was so sudden? You both didn't even reveal that you guys were dating. It was kind of rushed so didn't actually get time to inform you know. You looked at him, his voice shows no emotions. It's okay but can we know since when you guys were dating? She said looking at you. You were already nervous as you have never been to such interviews and all. Plus what would you answer? You don't want to spoil anything. You looked at Chunko. We weren't really dating, it was actually arranged by our parents, so he spoke about handling the situation. Oh wow, so it was kind of arranged marriage? That's interesting. The interview went like this, Jungkook somehow handled the questions she was throwing at both of you. The glass fell on the floor before shattering into millions of pieces. You looked at Jungkook, I'm so sorry. He sat down and started picking up the pieces. I barely come in the house and then also I regret coming. He left from there in anger while you bit your lower lip trying to control your tears. A piece made a cut in your finger. You put the finger in your mouth while tears dropped from your eyes. A month has passed and things have started getting worse rather than being stable. You are not so expressive and that's why you never find courage to talk to Jungkook from front. Meanwhile, he is getting annoyed day by day. He doesn't want to live in such relationship as it already started being suffocated. Jungkook, if you ask me, I suggest you to have a conversation with her. This is not going to work like this. It can become more serious this way. What would I say? I don't know where this is going. I try to like her but she's so secretive. I don't know if she want to be with me or not and I don't want to fall in love with her because I'm afraid that what if I do only to find out she has someone else in her heart. He has pain in his voice. Namjoon passed him a soft smile and patted his arm. Have you ever read any book written by her? Jungkook shook his head. No, and doesn't even want to. Namjoon took out his phone and searched for something before showing it to him. But I do, and I'm a very big fan of her writing. You know what? I have read almost all the books written by her and that's how one day I came across with this one. He showed the cover. Jungkook squinted his eyes to get a clear look of it. What's about this? Namjoon smiled. Something very special and I don't know why I feel like this book describes a very familiar person. Hyung, you know how broken I am right now. I seriously have no interest in knowing all this. I'm sure you will do once you get to know the person. Just see the cover page. The title itself says she wrote this book for someone she want to be with in future. The title itself says someday I wanna be yours. The character in this is so similar to you Jungkook. And not only this, she wrote this note at the end saying how much she admires you. Jungkook couldn't help her to listen to him. He wanted to know more about me. He nodded. Yes, I won't tell you anything else because I think you should read it. You'll get to know her inner feelings and maybe who knows you both find a reason to stay together. Give it a try Jungkook. You lit the candles and straighten up. 
as Jungkook's birthday today and although you guys don't speak much but you still want to have a good memory with him before leaving. Yes, you have decided to give him divorce because you don't want to become the reason of his miserable life. You want to set him free even though your heart cried not to do it. You were always the man of my dreams but I never realized that there are always two sides of every coin. It was me who loved you. I'm sorry that I forgot to think from your point of view. You were waiting for Jungkook even though you were not sure if he will come home back or not. Jungkook's POV I came back home and I don't know why my heart feels heavy. What do I do? I looked around and she wasn't here. For a moment I feel a little really because I don't want her to see me in this condition. I read the book Nam Jun Hyung asked me to. I still can't believe that I was keeping myself away from such precious thing. First of all, I was so mesmerized by, by her writing. Now I feel like a stupid in front of her. Seriously, I'm feeling so embarrassed because maybe I'm not at all like how she described me in that story. For a second, even I fell for that character not knowing it was me. I read comments under her book review and then I've realized how popular she is. People are crazy for her work. She has a beautiful imagination but sadly, I guess I ruined it. I might have disappointed her. I was going towards my room when I saw her. I felt something in my heart. Now I'm seeing her differently. Why is she appearing so majestic and all I want to do is hug her right away and maybe apologize. She was coming near me and with that my heartbeat was getting fast. Today she looks different. There is a different spark in her eyes making me wonder if she is drunk. She finally stood in front of me as our eyes met with each other. I thought today you wouldn't like to come back home. Your voice came out with a lot of pain. I'm sorry for that day. I didn't mean to say that. You smiled and shook your head. It's fine, I don't take things that seriously until it come out of someone who is deeply close to me. Did you drink? He quickly realized he was just letting himself go, lost in emotions. I mean, I don't have any problem, I was just... I just had a little, otherwise I won't be able to say something I badly want to tell you. There was a silence for some time. You two were only looking at each other before you looked away in an attempt to hold your tears back. What's that? You wanna say? You again turn your face towards him. Come with me. You walked towards the kitchen while he followed without a second thought. As soon as he entered in the kitchen, he was surprised to see all the decoration. It was beautiful, so warm as if he himself became one of the characters of your fictional world. You came back holding a cake in your hands. He realized that it's his birthday, it's already 1 in the morning. I always used to imagine this particular moment in my mind, but never thought that I will actually get a chance. It feels like a dream, a good one. Happy birthday Jungkook. I know things are a little complicated or maybe more than I am imagining but let me make this moment a little special though, so that I can live with it for the rest of my life. I never did anything memorable for you then why you? You chuckled a little, maybe because I am a little selfish. I know this marriage was like a case to you and I ruined your happy life. I'm so sorry for that jungle. It has nothing to do with you. Don't blame yourself. You shook your head. It might have not happened if I opposed it. I tried to forcefully enter in your life. 
the moment a tear escaped from your eyes, Jungkook felt the pain in his heart. He doesn't know why he was feeling so terrible, so guilty. He used to be such a happy person, a cheerful guy who is the reason of millions of smiles. And believe me, I never mean to take away that smile. I have realized what I have done and that's why he paused. That's why Jungkook was having this bad feeling about something and he wanted to know what you want to say. Can you please blow this candle first and cut the cake? Yan, Jungkook, please let me live this moment even if it's for a few minutes. The light of candles were reflecting in your tears. He knew there's something you are truly sad about and he doesn't want it to add more pain so he blew the candle. Happy birthday Jungkook. Yan, I want to tell you something. You put the cake on the table and walk to the other side. I would love to hear that, but let me make this first move. You came near him holding a file in your hands. He frowned and looked at you. What's that? Jungkook, I don't know if you know about this or not, but I always have a crush on you. I wanted to become the reason of your smile, but sadly, I realized I was just being delusional. Reality is completely opposite and I ended up becoming the cause of your sadness. It's not like that. You gave him the papers. I still care about your happiness, Jungkook. You're still that character for me and believe me, I can never have any different thoughts about you. And I always pray for your happiness when so taking this step. You gave him the file while he frowned. His heart dropped and he opened that and found Tybur's papers. You even signed on them. He again looked at you. Tybur's papers? I'm sorry for all the inconvenience you have to face in all this month. I seriously don't want to do that. I hate how you feel like a stranger in your own house. Let's get separated. Jungkook's heart dropped. I know it's so stupid to say let's get separated when we were never together in the first place. I'm so sorry Jungkook. I hope you will find someone who can give you all the happiness that you deserve. Do you really want to do this? You looked at him. Yes, sometimes things don't go the way we expect and that's okay. Unless the ending is happy, everything is okay, right? You smiled but it was painful and he noticed that. He was just standing there silently. There was so much he wanted to say but nothing was coming out. The condition was tearing his heart still he wasn't sure if he actually fell in love with you or not. I always wanted your happiness and I can never become the reason of your sadness. And also, thank you so much for being so patient with me. I hope you will live happily always. You wiped your tears and left from there while he tightened his grip on the paper.